day surrounded by comfort. Make this the summer you take on everything. Make this the summer you drive a Ram. Now, during the Ram Make This the Summer event, get 10% below MSRP on the 2023 Ram 1500 Laramie, Longhorn, and Limited models. At Jacoby & Myers, we've been helping California accident victims for over 50 years. We've gotten clients 10, 20, even 100 times more than the insurance company's original offer. That's the difference experience makes. Choose Jacoby & Myers. You're watching NBC4. Here's what's happening today. Saturday morning, I'm Michelle Vias. Let's get you started with a look at your weather with meteorologist Shauna Mediola. All right, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday and it'll feel a little warmer today. Michelle, we are going to see some uh, 70s and 80s outside. Not quite those triple digits yet, but they're coming back here this week. So we'll get you that 70 forecast on the way. Looking at Saturday, we're starting off in the 60s. So good morning to you. Some of you have that patchy marine layer this morning near the coastlines, but inland that sunshine is already prevailing and we're going to be warming up fast. So let's show you that hour by our forecast. The valleys, for example, clouds are already clearing. You'll be at 70 degrees by nine o'clock today. It'll stay mild through the lunchtime hour with 81 degrees at noon will warm hour by hour to about 88 at three o'clock and that's as warm it's going to get for you some upper 80s low 90s in those inland spots today and then tonight we're going to cool it down to those 70s and 60s so at least we get relief overnight here even though things warm up during the day looking at today's forecast we do have that patchy cloud marine layer you can see here on the lax camera it's foggy right now but sunshine will be here in just a bit you just got to wait a few hours it'll clear to sunshine and temperatures will be in the 70s 81 degrees in Orange County and the basin. We've got some 90s coming your way in the valleys and Inland Empire with a high desert. Temperatures close to 100, but not quite there yet. We'll be at 96. And notice in the mountain forecast, we've got a chance of thunderstorms. It's going to be a small one, but it's still there because we have some humidity lingering for those higher peaks. So the deserts and mountains will be following that. Temperatures in the 70s there. Now I did mention a little heat wave on the way again. I'll tell you when that gets here and how hot those temperatures will get in your seven day forecast. Michelle, back to you. Shana, thank you so much. We want to get back to our breaking news on the deadly wildfires in Maui. This morning we can tell you at least 80 people have now been confirmed dead and the death toll expected to rise in the coming days. The fire that destroyed the town of Lahaina, now 85% contained. Officials believe harmful contaminants may have entered the water system there. and More than 1,400 people are staying at evacuation shelters. The governor of Hawaii said the fires are likely to be the largest natural disaster in the state's history. There are so many stories of sorrow and uncertainty as people on Maui mourn the dead, search for the missing, and return home to complete destruction. NBC News' Miguel Almaguer has their story. As the smoke and flames finally began to clear, here in Lahaina, a new crisis unfolds. In this desolate, tortured landscape, the search for the missing and for the dead. <laughs> Kimo Kirkman has finally made it home, but all he has found is heartbreak. Oh my God, he's brutal bull. It's the most heartbreaking thing I've ever been through. We first met the Kirkmans Thursday, who, like so many families, waited for days on the side of the road or inside shelters for this chance to go home. Why do you get emotional talking about your community? Because I love my community. They've, they've raised my girls with me. The Kirkmans have closure, but far too many are haunted by the silence. There is no official number for the missing. While some fear it may be as high as a thousand, a stream of pleas cry out on social media. Mothers, fathers, children, desperate to find loved ones. What goes through my mind is, is do I just go over there and find my dad because no one else is. From California, Kimberly Boone is waiting for any word about her father. 79-year-old Shadow hasn't been seen since the flames overtook his neighborhood. Where days it go by, those numbers are going to go up. And if he did get evacuated, where did he get evacuated to? There's, there's no information regarding that. Jason Gatea says his mother is also unaccounted for. 